Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another makeup testing video. I'm really enjoying doing these at the moment and hopefully some of you are enjoying watching them. Today I'm testing another foundation. I tested another foundation probably just over a month ago which was the Clinique Beyond Perfecting so if you want to watch that video I will leave a link to it down below. But today I'm testing something a bit more cheap. I'm testing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. If you saw my last video testing out the Clinique foundation, you'll know that I'm getting married next year and I'm on a bit of a mission to find the perfect foundation for my wedding. So I have, have been doing lots of research. I've been buying lots of foundation to try out and I thought I'd try out a drugstore one just to see. I am wearing it at the moment. I actually, when I first started this video, I forgot to film an intro, so I have been wearing it for about four and a half hours now. So it's not at its absolute best, but I will go further into that in one of the check-ins which I'm about to film. Um, so yes, if you'd like to see what I think about this foundation and how it lasted on me, just keep on watching. Right, so I'm zoomed in, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, the foundation looks like this. I have the shade 120 Classic Ivory Beige Rose, which, quite a long name. Um, I'm hoping the color's gonna be about right. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not the best at color matching, to be quite honest with you, so I'll have to see. I have not tried this yet. I have the Maybelline website up on my phone um, just so I can go through all of Maybelline's claims about what this foundation should do. So I'm just going to read it out to you. It says the Fit Me Matte and Poreless has been designed for normal to oily skin. It's blurring micro powders, refines pores while shine is being absorbed for a natural matte finish. It says best suited for normal to oily skin, coverage medium to full and finish natural to matte. I have to be honest today my skin has been feeling a little bit dry but I tend to have combination skin. I'm quite oily in my t-zone and a little bit drier. Um, so hopefully this should work for me. I've heard mixed things about it so I'm trying to go in with an open mind and I'm not really sure what to expect. So it comes in a little tube. I'm pretty sure in the US you can get it in a bottle, which I would prefer, but I'm pretty sure in the UK it's only available in a tube and you get 30 mils, which is about standard, and I believe it's 6.99, so very affordable. I'm not really sure how much to use. My skin is already primed, by the way. I use the Becca um, First Light Priming Filter on my cheeks and the Benefit Pore Professional in my T-zone. So I, with Matt and Paula's plus a Pore Professional, I hope I will not see a pore at all. So I've just squeezed a bit out onto my hand and I'm gonna dot it on my face, then blend it in using a brush. It's very liquidy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I quite like liquid foundations. I'm hoping I've not put too much on. She says as she still puts more on her face. So the brush I'm going to use is the Morphe G6, which is just one of these flat top buffing brushes, which I use with pretty much all my foundations. It's my favorite one at the moment. And I'm just gonna buff the product into my skin. I feel like this might be a little bit orange for me, but I think I can get away with it. I don't think the colour's terrible. And normally I would colour correct before putting foundation on, but when I'm testing out foundations, I like to see how they work on their own. Um, so just for the purpose of this video, I haven't colour corrected today.
so that is all the foundation buffed in I don't think the colours perfect for me to be honest with you it's a little bit too orangey but I feel like now I've blended it down my neck and onto my ears I can probably get away with it it feels it's not super light foundation but it doesn't feel really heavy it's quite comfortable and I do have to say I cannot see any pores which is nice it's fairly matte but it's not like super super matte so it still looks quite natural which is nice I'm going to say it's more on the medium coverage side than the full coverage side obviously you can still see my redness peeking through it's not completely covered everything but it's a nice, nice finish, nice coverage and I'm fairly impressed with it just as a first impression I'm going to add a little bit more on on my cheeks and just see if the coverage can be built up at all I do wish it came in a bottle with a pump because I do find these less um, not harder to use but it's just a bit more messy coming out of a tube um, but it is a very affordable foundation so I'm probably being a little bit fussy there so I'm just going to add a little bit more on my cheeks yeah I do feel like the co coverage is building a little bit so I think if you wanted to make this really really full coverage you could probably make it if you wanted to um, I tend to go in with concealer anyway so I'm not going to add layers and layers of this stuff on see so yeah, I do feel like the coverage is a bit better now Um still not completely covering but I do have a lot of redness and I don't think many foundations would cover that to be quite honest with you for a $6.99 foundation I am very impressed as a first impression it looks smooth nice is covered fairly well not cakey and yeah so at the moment I think it's looking good I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'm going to come back and just do a little overview for you right so I am back and the rest of my makeup is done um, this colour is definitely a little too dark a little bit orangey for me so not the perfect match but it's not the end of the world the foundation was only 6 99 and I think I can just about get away with it I might take it on holiday with me if I like how it wears um, so if I get a bit of a tan it, it might match me okay um, I'm fairly impressed with how it has gone on like I said um, to begin with it looks fairly smooth um, not really maybe caking a tiny bit around my nose but no major cakiness um, I would say definitely more a medium coverage than a full coverage I can still see my rosacea peeking through so it's not going to cover every single blemish you have especially if you have more problem skin like me um, I didn't add any concealer in that area just because this foundation is a little bit dark and most of my concealers are more on the light side and I didn't want to have like big blotches of light concealer on my cheeks so yeah I'm pretty pleased overall as a first impression especially considering the price I I don't think it looks bad at all I am going to wear this foundation throughout the day and I will try and check back a few times and let you know how it is wearing and what it looks like throughout the day so I will see you in a little bit hello I am back I've now been wearing this makeup for about four and a half hours so not a hugely long time but I am starting to see a bit of a difference in it now it is there's some oil and shine coming through on my nose now especially round kind of this area I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup left around there and oil is coming through on my chin I can't say I feel particularly matte at the moment especially for a foundation that's called matte and poreless so it doesn't look terrible 
but I, I would generally like my foundation to wear a little bit better than this has. I feel like it's starting to fade a little bit around my jawline as well. It's definitely not terrible by any means, but I do feel like there's quite a lot of oil coming through and I don't have massively oily skin. Like, it's a bit oily, but I'm sh um, there's people out there with a lot more oily skin than me. And for a foundation that is sold as being for oily skin, I kind of hope it might wear a little bit better than, than this. Um, because I feel like if I was any more oily than I am, it, it wouldn't look very good right now. Um, so yeah, but I am going to keep on going for another few hours and let you know how it turns out at the end of the day. Hello, I am back again. Um, I've now had this foundation on for about nine and a half hours, um, so quite a long time and it's definitely looking past its best now. I am feeling pretty, pretty oily. It's got past the point where I'm just a bit glowy now and I do look greasy um, and not, not that great. Um, apart from the oiliness, it still looks okay. Um, it's clung on to a few dry patches on the end of my nose. Um, but yeah, other than the shininess, the, the rest of it looks okay. But I am pretty, pretty shiny. So I um, can't say I have loved how this foundation has worn, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, it's really shiny now, but I did feel... I started getting shiny after just a couple of hours of wearing it and I just feel like I want a foundation to, to last me longer than that. I want to put it on in the morning and not have to worry about it for at least a good five hours. Um, I'm not the kind of person who likes to touch up every hour or so because it's just, just too much effort. I probably wouldn't rush to use this on a regular basis to be honest with you um, and I certainly won't be using it for my wedding because I don't want to look like this come the reception the main thing that kind of gets me with this foundation is it's meant to be for oily skin and I just feel like it's made me even more oily than I would normally be um, so yeah not not completely in love so not the most positive video but I wanted to be honest and I didn't want to tell you that this is a good foundation when I really don't think it is that brilliant. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have tried out this foundation. Let me know what you think of it. And if you have any other foundations you recommend I should try, then let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.